I'm Joe Chilly, and you can listen to me mornings on the Big Wack. Joining us today on the Big Wack Buffalo on the Rise is Russell J. Gullo, who's the founder and CEO of RJ Gullo Companies. Russell, nice to have you here. Joe, it's a pleasure being here with you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And, you know, let's talk about, I have to tell you, when you start talking about taxes, when you start talking about investments, when you talk, start talking about things like this, I need people to advise me. I have people that tell me what I should do, what I shouldn't do, uh, because I, I hate, nobody wants to be ignorant, you know what I mean? Right. But I am ignorant in these things, and, and, and a lot of people will say, I don't want to go in and talk to somebody and seem like I'm stupid. But you really need to ask questions. You know, like one of the things that you, we're talking about here is a 1031 exchange. It's like, to me, it's, it's alphabet soup or numbers that I just don't understand. But people need to know about these things. So what do you tell people? Joe, a 1031 is an opportunity to pay no tax. Anytime you're selling either income producing or investment held real estate, excluding one's primary residence or one's secondary residence, they have the opportunity to pay no tax. And when we talk about paying no tax, not only are we including the favorable capital gains tax, the recapture of depreciation, the old Medicare tax, and of course you can't forget New York State. So, it could, it could amount to some, a third, about a third of the selling price in a lot of cases that we're able to save people. Now, when you say pay no tax, <clears throat> the first thing I get, you know, I get this thing in my mind that goes illegal, illegal, illegal. <laughs> you know, I mean, how do you get, a, get around uh, paying taxes, you know, and especially, you know, I hate, I don't want to talk poorly about New York State, but everybody knows, New York State knows what taxes are all right, about. Right, right, right. So, so how do you get around things like Joe, that? Joe, this Section 1031 is a section of the Internal Revenue Code, and it's actually been part of the Internal Revenue Code since day one, since 1913. So it's not a loophole, it's kind of comparable to when someone sells their primary residence, they have the ability to sell their primary every two years without paying paying tax. This is a different section of the Internal Revenue Code that only pertains to investment or income producing property. So it's perfectly legal, it's been around forever, and you just need to follow the rules of the game. You need what's called a professional qualified intermediary, and that's what we are at the RJ Gullo Companies. You know, I've been doing this some 40 plus years, Joe. We're one of the original independent qualified intermediary companies in the country. And we're headquartered right here in Buffalo, and we're at, we work together with individuals that are selling. We work together with their CPAs, their attorneys, and their real estate professionals. Why would the average individual, like myself, never have heard of something like the 1031 exchange? Well, as I mentioned, Joe, it's the best kept secret in real estate. Unless you're involved in real estate investments, it wouldn't, wouldn't ring a bell. You know, and, and those that do understand it or at least have heard of it really don't have a real sound knowledge of how it works. And it's, it's pretty simple. You know, you need to be disposing of an asset like real property. You need to acquire another piece of investment property. And you have a six month window from closing to closing to do it. And it all has to go through what's called the qualified intermediary. Are there any other timing requirements that you have to know about? There, there are two timing requirements, Joe. First of all, as the qualified intermediary, we need to be in the transaction before you can close. So the way we're able to do that is the seller provides us with a copy of their contract of sale. We then prepare approximately 50 pages of documents that need to be signed, executed in place before the title of the sale can be conveyed. And then that starts their clock. That's day one. They have 45 days to identify, to provide us with a potential list of replacement properties and a total of six months to actually close. Now, people are going to ask. They're going to wonder. All right. Now, so I'm saving on tax. I'm not paying on tax on this. But on the other end, when they go to you, are they spending a lot of money to learn all about this? No. Just to give you an idea, Joe, um, you know, if someone were to sell a... Uh, a, a piece of land and let's say their gain was hundred thousand dollars typically their tax would be about thirty thousand mm -hmm. dollars it's gonna cost them two grand to save thirty it's really? pure economics you know pure economics son of a gun I, I noticed when you said that your tie lit up uh, <laughs> what, what you talked about a qualified intermediary what is a qualified intermediary a qualified intermediary someone is in the business of structuring these 1031 exchanges it's an IRS what's called safe harbor it's a requirement and we have to have training in many different disciplines. And for that reason, there's just 
a handful of qualified intermediaries. We're actually the only independent qualified intermediary uh, from Buffalo to New York City. Well, so one of the things that people are going to do in today's day and age, the first thing they'll do is they'll say, well, I, I saw Joe Chile and I saw Russell Gallo talking about this on TV the other day, so I'm going to Google it and see if I can do it myself. Right. They can't, really. This is one time, Joe, somebody that uh, is disposing can't be what's called a FISBO. They cannot represent themselves, nor can they have anyone that has an agency relationship represent them, like their attorney, like their CPA, like their real estate broker. We, uh, they become what's called a disqualified person, and they become taxable at that point. One of the things I failed to mention, Joe, is not only do you have the ability not to pay tax here, but in addition, you defer and defer, and this is not just a one-time opportunity. You can do this over and over again. And then when we finally bid this world goodbye, our heirs are forgiven of all these taxes. They get what's called a stepped-up basis, so it becomes tax-free at that point to their heirs. All right, so we have you know, a little over a minute left in this segment. So when people go to you for a consultation, are they paying for the consultation? We provide free consultations, uh, free phone consultations, whether it's directly with the client or with their attorney, their CPA, their broker. They can just call us at 716-675-1500 or they can go to our website to set up a free consultation. And um, they need to do that before they dispose of any income producing or, or investment held property. Well, it sounds great. It sounds like, I mean, it sounds like a no-brainer to me. So, for more information and answers to your questions, contact RJ Gallo Companies by calling 716-675-1500 or go to rjgallo.com. Sponsorship and promotional consideration for the preceding segment was provided by the following. Thanks for watching this edition of The Big Whack Presents Buffalo on the Rise. For information on this and other shows, go to our website, bigwack.com, and find out how you can participate on the program if you're a hometown business. I'm Joe Chilly. Thanks for watching and listening to The Big Whack, Buffalo's oldie station.